This is FLCast and my name is Kirill. Today I wanted to share with you a very important topic of how these Lego Education Spike Primes, they can go crazy and the program it could behave in an entirely different way. The story goes like this. Uh, we've developed a number of really complex tutorials for demonstrating missions in first Lego League, in World Robot Olympiad, in different competitions. And we've noticed that sometimes these Lego Education Spike Prime robots, they behave in a very strange way. Then in December 2022, what happened is that Lego released a new version, Lego Education World Blocks version 3, which is uh, how this pro these robots are now programmed. And it changed a lot of things. It's incompatible with the previous version, but it still had kind of like the same issues and we couldn't, we couldn't figure out why. We couldn't debug them, we couldn't understand them. And I was thinking a number of times to just get in contact with Lego and just send them our program, but uh, from a software development perspective, it's very difficult when, when you send a program and I could put myself in their shoes as a software developer, like receiving a program from someone and then trying to debug this program. And if it is a complex program, it's it's very difficult. But what happened the other day is that I managed to reproduce one of the issues with a very simple program, just three, four blocks. So today I wanted to demonstrate this program. Now I don't have a solution, but at least I could point you to a, to a place and to show you how sometimes these robots, they go crazy. Let me share the screen. Okay, hope you see my screen. And this here is the program. This here is the very simple program. Now, can I make this a little bit? larger. Like this. Okay. Okay. And what do we have here? We have a Lego Education Spike Prime robot and it has two motors on the side and it has one motor as an attachment. And this motor, uh, this robot was, uh, uh, was built like a few days ago, just as a as, as a robot for fun. Uh, then we try to accomplish a mission model. That's the first Lego League 2022, the superpower mission model where the goal of the robot is to move forward and then to push right here. And it will then return. So that's the mission. And the first thing that we did, very, Funny robot that moves forward and it should lift the attachment up and down, up and down. That's it. But here is what happens. This here is the program. Set movement speed 25%. Then we move for one rotation. I'll make it for 0 0.2 because on the table I don't have space for one rotation and then four times we repeat we move motor d forward 19 degrees backward 90 degrees that's it and the robot goes crazy with this program let me show you how let me demonstrate you how i'll turn my camera right here now i hope you see the robot and now I will download the program. This is how the robot is supposed to work. Let's do it again. You saw it? That's the place where the robot goes crazy. Now, there is nothing in our program that tells the robot to move 
180 degrees back. It's just 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. But what happens is that sometimes, like 7 out of 10 times, the robot will move 180 degrees back if in the forward, if it starts while moving forward. Again, I'll just place like this. I'll start it. It doesn't happen in the other direction. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again, a third time. Let's see how predictable this behavior is. Okay, this was a different behavior. Let's try again. Completely crazy, completely crazy. This is our simplest program to reproduce the behavior of this robot and to reproduce how it sometimes goes crazy. Now, when you accomplish a mission and you have like a hundred blocks, it's sometimes difficult to pinpoint where exactly does it go crazy and why. And what we figure out is that one of the reasons is that sometimes when you rotate the motor with the crease and if it starts, it goes in the other direction 180 degrees for our specific problem, which is like, why? Why is it doing it? Now, there are different ways in which we can approach this. Uh, probably we should uh, use seconds, probably we should use other means of rotation and uh, control of this motor. But the fact is that uh, with this simple program, we make the robot go crazy. So check out in your programs how, how are you controlling the motors and if you are using such blocks. And if you are using such blocks, try, try to change them probably to use seconds not specifically degrees and that's that's uh, from me for today uh, more tutorials you can find at flcast.com where we try to show different tutorials of how to program the robots uh, what i hope for today is that this is useful and you can see one reproducible way in which the robot can go crazy see you